Good morning, my name is Shannon, and I wanna share with you why we're switching from Saxon math to the good and the beautiful. So I have been using Saxon with my daughter for the past couple of years, and I decided this year I wanted to change to the good and the beautiful for three main reasons that I wanna share with you. I'm really excited. I just got the good and the beautiful um, grade one curriculum in the mail the other day and I will show it to you. It just looks beautiful. I'm really excited about it. So the reason I started with Saxon is we are part of Classical Conversations. I homeschool and we're part of that group and they recommended Saxon. <clears throat> and it's worked really well. There's nothing terribly wrong with it. I think it's great. I've been a math teacher um, in the past and so I know quite a bit about math education and I think they do a fabulous job. But one of the main reasons I wanted to switch was I just felt like this was too much each day. So for, um, this is the math one curriculum. We started with the math K or the kindergarten. But for each day they have them, you can see my daughter did this and wrote some stuff. They have a calendar, and so they have them do um, different patterns on the calendar, which is great, but there's that, and then there's also a weather calendar. So each day you're supposed to track the weather, the date. They have little meeting strips where they have you, they have the kids write the date. So um, there's that, that's called, that's part of the, the beginning part, the meeting, and then <clears throat> there's the actual lesson. So there's this big book and there are multiple parts to each lesson and it's very detailed. So if you are not great at math and just want it spelled out for you, every single thing, they do do that. They have a script that you could literally read um, to your child exactly what they say. So that is a pro, I guess, if you want it very, very scripted. Now, I felt like if I did every single thing from each lesson, this would take us over an hour each day. So there's the lesson part in this big book that has multiple parts. And then there's also this workbook that has like a work page for each day. So for example, this is what one of them looks like. And so what I had my daughter do is I just had her do this front page, which took, you know, her good 15 minutes. Um, there's also a back to it as well. So I never really had her do the back because it was more of the same. And I felt like once she did the front of the page, that was plenty. So I just, I didn't, I don't want math to last over an hour, especially when she's so young. I want math to be a very positive thing. She's really good at it and likes it. I know some people don't think you should even start math yet. I totally understand that. But with my daughter, she wants to do it and I don't wanna not have her do it. And I, but I want it to be enjoyable. And I think it should take like max 15 minutes um, a day right now. So it is, I just felt like Matt Saxon was just too much. I ended up cutting a good chunk of it out and just kind of picking what I thought was important to do each day. So that's the first thing. To compare that to the good and the beautiful, so here is the book, Math One, and the first lesson um, is pretty short. So They've got a couple games and um, they're having them fill in a certain amount of blocks and color um, the numbers that are greater than 10 and less than 10, and that's it. And one thing I really love too is this is very much like open and go. Saxon, even though they scripted every single thing for you, I felt like I needed to read it and kind of look through it um, the day before to feel like I knew what I was doing. I'm still planning on doing that to some extent with the good and the beautiful, but I can tell just glancing at the first lesson, it is very open and go, which is really nice. So that's the first thing. I just felt like Saxon was 
just too much going on. Um, the second reason is I just felt like it was kind of dry. So there's no colors, <laughs> it's just black and white, um, which is fine, I guess. You know, being a math teacher, I know it doesn't have to be crazy decorated, but I also think it can be beautiful and fun and little kids like lots of um, just, yeah, they like colors and fun little games and stuff like that. So I felt like I didn't, Saxon didn't really have games. It was just a lot of repetition of teaching the material, which is good, but um, I can already tell in this, there's just some fun ways that they teach the different concepts. So I just like that it's a lot more beautiful. I got this box with it that has some manipulatives I'll show you. So just a few things though, not, not a ton. Some of these shapes, a little clock, some dice, these other little clocks, and these coins. So not a whole lot, but that's okay. I did get the manipulative box that comes with Saxon. Now there's some cool stuff in here. We've got um, our little teddy bear counters, which I used quite a bit, especially with the, um, the kindergarten curriculum. I've got these blocks. So I'm actually really thankful these pattern blocks to have the, the manipulatives for Saxon. I've definitely used them a lot. Um, and I don't have the kindergarten good and the beautiful yet. I, my other daughter, I don't feel like is ready for that yet. So, um, I'm not sure what that comes with. It might come with a few more, but anyway, I just felt like Saxon was kind of dry, not very pretty or just not fun. Just very basic. So I'm excited to try something different. And the third reason is I feel like Saxon just reviewed like crazy, which review is obviously good and it depends on your child. My daughter is very quick to learn math. I can tell it just comes really easily to her. And so I like it would just bore her to just keep doing the same thing that she knew how to do. And I could tell if she got bored, she would just disengage and just not want to do it anymore. So for my particular child, um, I just, I don't think too much review is good for her. And Saxon just reviews and reviews and reviews, which could be good for certain kids, but um, for us, I didn't love that. I also wanted to show you, I got these from the Good and the Beautiful. These are addition cards. And so just a way to practice addition. It's like you can play little games with them. So I'm excited to have that to practice with my daughter. And I also got these um, <clears throat> snowy owl subtraction cards too. So again, I just like that they, it makes them really, it's all really beautiful and fun looking. It looks like a game and math should be fun. So I'm not trying to put down Saxon. I'm just because we've really benefited from it and I think it has its place and some families it might just be the best thing for them but I wanted to share why we're switching over to Good and the Beautiful at least for this year. I'm excited to try it and see how it goes. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Also um, if you are enjoying my videos please subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out two videos each week related to homeschooling, parenting, um, some health related things and I also make tutor videos for classical conversations. So I will be beginning those soon. So please subscribe if these are helpful and have a great day.